If you're struggling to get new clients to say yes, or you just want to create an easier path to get that yes, you may want to consider offering foot in the door services. These are services that are simple to offer. They're easy to provide. They demonstrate your value because you're able to get results with them rather quickly. And all of this helps build trust with that client faster. And from their perspective, it really reduces their risk that they see in working with you because these are foot in the door services are often smaller than a full blown project. So essentially what you are doing here is taking a smaller service that's easier to provide, it's easier to get results doing that, and and then using those results to lead into bigger work that the client really needs to help grow their business as well. But by time, you've already worked with them. They've already seen how you communicate. And essentially, they've already seen that you're going to do what it is you say you're going to do by when you say you're going to do it. And now they've seen that process. They've seen some of the results that you've gotten. So now it is easier for you to step in and say, okay, now that we've done this, now it's time we try this. This is what your business is going to need. And it allows you to use those results to ask for them to work with you on something that's going to make an even bigger impact. And of course, that's going to be a larger project, more time, and it's going to be a higher revenue as well. Now on my side, I also actually like this because this actually lets me test out a client because now I get to see, well, how do they communicate with me? How do they handle themselves throughout this project as well? So this is a good way to see if you and the client are a good fit for working together before you just find yourself in the middle of this full blown project and then things aren't going so well and you have to figure out now what to do. So let's look at a handful of good foot in the door services that you may wanna consider offering. Now, you don't need to offer all of these services. This is to give you some ideas so that you can pick what is going to work best for you, what you see yourself providing, and what is going to offer the most value to your prospective client. All right, let's start with number one. And this is just starting with anything that you can take off their plate. And I'm starting with this because this is actually what I started with many, many, many years ago when I didn't know how to really craft an offer, how to really demonstrate my value, and I wanted to get more clients. So the way I did that was just talking to prospective clients, finding out what has just been on their plate that they haven't been able to get rid of, and then doing that. And what happened really was it ended up being a whole bunch of little things. So they just all these little things that for them, they wanted it done, but it just stayed low on their priority list due to all the other things they had going on in their business. But for me, they were simple, quick, and easy to do. So I was able to just knock those off their plate quickly, they were like, wow, this is amazing. It's done. They felt lighter because all of this stuff that had just been weighing on them was done quickly. And now they're like, oh, okay, great. Now what else can we do? And so at that point, they were able to start sending me regular work, but we were also able to start talking about bigger things that they needed because their mind was clear. They didn't have all these little things that were nagging at them that they needed to do. The second foot in the door offer that you can create is to help them with their Google business profile. Google business profile is something that is easier for you to learn. It's easier for you to work with and get results. And it's really helpful for many local businesses. And keep in mind, when you do a foot in the door services, you can have your full blown Google business profile service that you offer, but you don't have to offer that just getting started. You can just pick a feature and focus just on that. So for instance, if you wanted to help them set up the book appointment feature, and work with them on that, that can be your foot in the door service. Another offer could be helping them with their social media. So a lot of businesses tend to not dedicate the time that they need to social, it tends to fall by the wayside. So this is where you can help give them a strategy, create a content calendar for them, and just get it set up so it can start to be a habit and they can see what needs to be done. And then maybe this is a service that you just continue on with them while you offer additional services. Foot the door service number four is Google Analytics help. Now this could either be assistance or even just analysis, a basic analysis. It doesn't even have to be anything too in depth. But one thing that I like to do if I have a prospective client and they don't have analytics set up, I differentiate myself because instead of just saying, well, you know what, let's just create a new website. Oh, you're probably going to need this. No, we need to look at numbers. And if you don't have those numbers, let's get those numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up analytics for you. Let's run, let this run for two weeks. Let's let this run for a month. And then I'll talk to you because we first need to see, does it even make sense to make some of these changes? And so that really also helps build 
trust with clients. So that's something I like to offer, even though I typically don't ask for any payment for that. Hey, it's just a quick setup. It's just installing the code that takes maybe five minutes at absolute most to do for them. But if they do have analytics of any kind, what we can do is go in and help them interpret it. Well, let's see, how much traffic do you actually get? What pages are these visitors actually going to? How long are they spending on those pages? Where do they actually leave the site and determine I'm done here? So even helping give them some basic information like that really shows that you know what you're doing, you know what information to look for, you know what is important, and you're giving them insight on their business that they just didn't have before. And now you and them can use this information to move forward and figure out what is the best course of action. Foot in the door. Service number five, this is probably the biggest thing to do on this list. It would take the most time, but this is website planning. This is something that I have covered in depth here on the channel as well. So I'll link to that below if you want to see really what exactly website planning is, what it actually looks like, how to go about it. You'll be able to watch that as well. But essentially with website planning, this is all the work that web designers typically don't get paid for, but should be paid for, especially if you want to do a really good job. You want to build a profitable website for a client, this is really, really important. So this allows you to look at everything that the website has, everything that the business actually needs, even if it's not there, and create a whole plan around what the business needs to implement online in order to be a success and make sure that the job gets done thoroughly, correctly the first time. And this is something you absolutely should get paid for. And this is something where what I do is I say, okay, this, we have created this plan. They've paid for this plan. Now their choice is to, to take that plan, run with it, implement it on, on their own, hire someone else, or they can apply the amount that they've already paid towards actually implementing all of that work. And that is typically what always happens because they've already built that trust. We've already demonstrated the value. We've come up with this plan. And so now they take that and we do the bigger job of actually implementing that plan. Now, the sixth thing that you can do, which I see a lot of people actually don't take advantage of this, is to offer a paid training. And this works really, really well when it's not generic, but you're really targeting a particular type of business or business owner, and you're trying to solve a very specific problem. So we don't want this to be too broad in terms of who you're targeting, but we also don't want it to be too broad in terms of the topic that you're trying to cover as well. So what is the one thing that you can talk about for one particular type of business owner and then go all in with that? This is the one thing that you're gonna walk away with. This is what you're gonna know and be able to, to do differently in your business at the end of this training and being able to offer that. So this is a good way even to be able to get in front of multiple people at the same time, have multiple clients paying you, and then a number of them will also take the next step in being able to work with you to implement something even more. Because really, these business owners want the knowledge, but they just simply don't have the time or the know-how, even if you give it to them, to be able to implement this. And the last foot in the door service that I will share with you for now is creating an email autoresponder series. So this is something that is very important to being able to nurture potential leads that they have coming in. If they are getting people signing up, let's say they have some amazing landing pages. If they don't, well, that's another thing you could offer. But if they do, then connecting an automated email series to that is really helpful because it gives that first welcome email, it brings them into the company, it demonstrates some offers, and then you can create three, four, five emails that will follow up from that initial sign up that tells them more about the company, shows them how that company is going to solve this potential customer's problem, demonstrates their value, and even maybe makes an offer to them to get them to get a quote or call the phone number or to actually just pay for a product, whatever it may be for that particular company. So you see, you can always just take a piece of something that can be done and turn it into a foot in the door service. If a client doesn't have an amazing landing page or any landing page at all in order to capture leads. Well, there you go. That can be a foot in the door service. And then the follow-up to that can be, well, now let's create this automated email series to continue to nurture the leads that do not convert immediately because there will always be leads like that. So hopefully this helps give you some ideas of potential foot in the door services that you can offer. So you can start with something smaller, 
reduce that risk, build trust, demonstrate your value quickly, and then move on to bigger and more impactful work. Let me know in the comments if you are offering any foot in the door services already, or if you may take one of these foot in the door services and try to offer it in your business. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.